Palladium, Wikipedia article audio. Palladium is a chemical element with symbol PD and atomic number 46. It is a rare and lustrous silvery white metal discovered in 1803 by William Hyde Wollaston. He named it after the asteroid Pallas, which was itself named after the epithet of the Greek goddess Athena, acquired by her when she slew a Pallas. Palladium, platinum, rhodium, ruthenium, iridium, and osmium form a group of elements referred to as the platinum group metals. These have similar chemical properties, but palladium has the lowest melting point and is the least dense of them. Characteristics Isotopes Compounds Palladium Palladium other oxidation states History Occurrence Applications Catalysis Electronics Technology Hydrogen storage Dentistry Jewelry Photography Toxicity Precautions More than half the supply of palladium and its congener platinum is used in catalytic converters, which convert as much as 90% of the harmful gases in automobile exhaust into less noxious substances. Palladium is also used in electronics, dentistry, medicine, hydrogen purification, chemical applications, groundwater treatment, and jewelry. Palladium is a key component of fuel cells, which react hydrogen with oxygen to produce electricity, heat, and water. Ore deposits of palladium and other PGMs are rare. The most extensive deposits have been found in the norite belt of the Bushveld igneous complex covering the Transvaal Basin in South Africa, the still water complex in Montana, United States the Sudbury Basin and Thunder Bay District of Ontario, Canada, and the Norilsk Complex in Russia. Recycling is also a source, mostly from scrapped catalytic converters. The numerous applications and limited supply sources result in considerable investment interest. Palladium belongs to Group 10 in the periodic table but the configuration in the outermost electron shells is atypical for group 10, ruthenium, and rhodium. Fewer electron shells are filled than the elements directly preceding it. The valence shell has 18 electrons 10 more than the 8 found in the valence shells of the noble gases from neon onward. Palladium is a soft silver-white metal that resembles platinum. It is the least dense and has the lowest melting point of the platinum group metals. It is soft and ductile when annealed and is greatly increased in strength and hardness when cold worked. Palladium dissolves slowly in concentrated nitric acid, in hot, concentrated sulfuric acid, and when finely ground, in hydrochloric acid. It dissolves readily at room temperature in aqua regia. Palladium does not react with oxygen at standard temperatures. Palladium heated to 800 degrees Celsius will produce a layer of palladium oxide. It tarnishes lightly in a moist atmosphere containing sulfur. Palladium films with defects produced by alpha particle bombardment at low temperature exhibit superconductivity having Tc equals 3.2 K. Naturally occurring palladium is composed of seven isotopes, six of which are stable. The most stable radioisotopes are 107 pd with a half-life of 6.5 million years, 103 pd with 17 days, and 100 pd with 3.63 days. Eighteen other radioisotopes have been characterized with atomic weights ranging from 90.94948 U to 122.93426 U. 
these have half-lives of less than 30 minutes, except 101 pd, 109 pd, and 112 pd. For isotopes with atomic mass unit values less than that of the most abundant stable isotope, 106 pd, the primary decay mode is electron capture with the primary decay product being rhodium. The primary mode of decay for those isotopes of PD with atomic mass greater than 106 is beta decay with the primary product of this decay being silver. Radiogenic 107 AG is a decay product of 107 PD and was first discovered in 1978 in the Santa Clara meteorite of 1976. The discoverers suggest that the coalescence and differentiation of iron cored small planets may have occurred 10 million years after a nucleosynthetic event. 107 PD versus AG correlations observed in bodies, which have been melted since accretion of the solar system, must reflect the presence of short lived nuclides in the early solar system. Palladium compounds primarily exist in the 0 and plus 2 oxidation state. Other less common states are also recognized. Generally the compounds of palladium are more similar to those of platinum than those of any other element. Palladium chloride is the principal starting material for other palladium compounds. It arises by the reaction of palladium with chlorine. It is used to prepare heterogeneous palladium catalysts such as palladium on barium sulfate, palladium on carbon, and palladium chloride on carbon. Solutions of PDCl2 in nitric acid react with acetic acid to give palladium acetate, also a versatile reagent. PDCl2 reacts with ligands to give square planar complexes of the type PDCl2L2. One example of such complexes is the benzonitrile derivative PDX22. The complex bispolidium dichloride is a useful catalyst. Palladium forms a range of zero-valent complexes with the formula PDL4, PDL3, and PDL2. For example, reduction of a mixture of PDCl22 and PPH3 gives tetrachyspolidium. Another major palladium complex, tristopalladium 3 is prepared by reducing sodium tetrachloropalladate in the presence of dibenzylidine stone. Palladium, as well as palladium, are catalysts in coupling reactions, as has been recognized by the 2010 Nobel Prize in Chemistry to Richard F. Heck, E. I. Ichi Negishi, and Akira Suzuki. Such reactions are widely practiced for the synthesis of fine chemicals. Prominent coupling reactions include the Heck, Suzuki, still reactions, and the Cumita coupling. Palladium acetate, tetrachyspalladium 4, and tristopalladium 3 serve either as catalysts or precatalysts. Although PD compounds are comparatively rare, one example is sodium hexachloropalladate, Na2. A few compounds of palladium are also known. Palladium was first observed in 2002. Mixed valence palladium complexes exist, e.g. PD444 PD2 forms an infinite PD chain structure, with alternatively interconnected PD444 and PD2 units. William Hyde Wollaston noted the discovery of a new noble metal in July 1802 in his lab book and named it palladium in August of the same year. Wollaston purified enough of the material and offered it, without naming the discoverer, in a small shop in Soho in April 1803. After harsh criticism from Richard Chenevix that palladium is an alloy of platinum and mercury, Wollaston anonymously offered a reward of 20 British pounds for 20 grains of synthetic palladium alloy. Chenevix received the Copley Medal in 1803 after he published his experiments on palladium. 
Wollaston published the discovery of rhodium in 1804 and mentions some of his work on palladium. He disclosed that he was the discoverer of palladium in a publication in 1805. It was named by Wollaston in 1802 after the asteroid 2 Pallas, which had been discovered two months earlier. Wollaston found palladium in crude platinum ore from South America by dissolving the ore in aqua regia, neutralizing the solution with sodium hydroxide, and precipitating platinum as ammonium chloroplatinate with ammonium chloride. He added mercuric cyanide to form the compound palladium cyanide, which was heated to extract palladium metal. Palladium chloride was at one time prescribed as a tuberculosis treatment at the rate of 0.065 grams per day. This treatment had many negative side effects, and was later replaced by more effective drugs. Most palladium is used for catalytic converters in the automobile industry. In the run-up to year 2000, the Russian supply of palladium to the global market was repeatedly delayed and disrupted for political reasons, the export quota was not granted on time. The ensuing market panic drove the price to an all-time high of $1,100 per troy ounce in January 2001. Around that time, the Ford Motor Company fearing that automobile production would be disrupted by a palladium shortage, stockpiled the metal. When prices fell in early 2001, Ford lost nearly US$1 billion. World demand for palladium increased from 100 tons in 1990 to nearly 300 tons in 2000. The global production of palladium from mines was 222 tons in 2006 according to the United States Geological Survey. Many were concerned about a steady supply of palladium in the wake of Russia's military maneuvers in Ukraine, partly as sanctions could hamper Russian palladium exports, any restrictions on Russian palladium exports would exacerbate what is already expected to be a large palladium deficit in 2014. Those concerns pushed palladium prices to their highest level since 2001. In September 2014 they soared above the $900 per ounce mark. In 2016 however palladium cost around $614 per ounce as Russia managed to maintain stable supplies. In January 2018 palladium futures climbed past $1,100 per ounce for the first time on record, mainly due to the strong demand from the automotive industry. As overall mine production of palladium reached 208,000 kg in 2016, Russia was the top producer with 82,000 kg, followed by South Africa, Canada and the US. Russia's company Norilsk Nickel ranks first among the largest palladium producers globally, it accounts for 39% of the world's production. Palladium can be found as a free metal alloy with gold and other platinum group metals in placer deposits of the Ural Mountains, Australia, Ethiopia, North and South America. For the production of palladium, these deposits play only a minor role. The most important commercial sources are nickel, copper deposits found in the Sudbury Basin, Ontario, and the Norilsk Talnak deposits in Siberia. The other large deposit is the Marensky Reef Platinum Group Metals deposit within the Bushveld Igneous Complex South Africa. The Stillwater Igneous Complex of Montana and the Robby Zone or body of the Lacte Isles Igneous Complex of Ontario are the two other sources of palladium in Canada and the United States. Palladium is found in the rare minerals cuprite and polarite. Many more PD minerals are known, but all of them are very rare. 
Palladium is also produced in nuclear fission reactors and can be extracted from spent nuclear fuel, though this source for palladium is not used. None of the existing nuclear reprocessing facilities are equipped to extract palladium from the high-level radioactive waste. The largest use of palladium today is in catalytic converters. Palladium is also used in jewelry, dentistry, watchmaking, blood sugar test strips, aircraft spark plugs, surgical instruments, and electrical contacts. Palladium is also used to make professional transverse flutes. As a commodity, palladium bullion has ISO currency codes of XPD and 964. Palladium is one of only four metals to have such codes, the others being gold, silver, and platinum. Because it absorbs hydrogen, Palladium is a key component of the controversial cold fusion experiments that began in 1989. When it is finally divided, as with palladium on carbon, palladium forms a versatile catalyst, it speeds hydrogenation, dehydrogenation, and petroleum cracking. A large number of carbon-carbon bonding reactions in organic chemistry are facilitated by palladium compound catalysts. When dispersed on conductive materials, palladium is an excellent electrocatalyst for oxidation of primary alcohols in alkaline media. In 2010, palladium-catalyzed organic reactions were recognized by the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Palladium is also a versatile metal for homogeneous catalysis used in combination with a broad variety of ligands for highly selective chemical transformations. A 2008 study showed that palladium is an effective catalyst for carbon fluoride bonds. Palladium is essential to the Lindler catalyst, also called Lindler's palladium. Palladium catalysis is primarily employed in organic chemistry and industrial applications, although its use is growing as a tool for synthetic biology, in 2017, effective in vivo catalytic activity of palladium nanoparticles was demonstrated in mammals to treat disease. The second greatest application of palladium in electronics is in multi-layer ceramic capacitors in which palladium is used for electrodes. Palladium is used for component and connector plating in consumer electronics and in soldering materials. The electronics sector consumed 1.07 million troy ounces of palladium in 2006, according to a Johnson Matthey report. Hydrogen easily diffuses through heated palladium, and membrane reactors with PD membranes are used in the production of high purity hydrogen. Palladium is used in palladium hydrogen electrode S in electrochemical studies. Palladium chloride readily catalyzes carbon monoxide gas to carbon dioxide and is useful in carbon monoxide detectors. Palladium readily absorbs hydrogen at room temperatures, forming palladium hydride PDHX with X less than 1. While this property is common to many transition metals, Palladium has a uniquely high absorption capacity and does not lose its ductility until X approaches 1. This property has been investigated in designing an efficient, inexpensive, and safe hydrogen fuel storage medium, though palladium itself is currently prohibitively expensive for this purpose. The content of hydrogen in palladium can be linked to magnetic susceptibility, which decreases with the increase of hydrogen and becomes zero for PDH 0.62. At any higher ratio, the solid solution becomes diamagnetic. Palladium is used in small amounts in some alloys of dental amalgam to decrease corrosion and increase the metallic luster of the final restoration. Palladium has been used as a precious metal in jewelry since 1939 as an alternative to platinum in the alloys called white gold, 
where the naturally white color of palladium does not require rhodium plating. Palladium is much less dense than platinum. Similar to gold, palladium can be beaten into leaf as thin as 100 nm. Unlike platinum, palladium may discolor at temperatures above 400 degrees Celsius, it is relatively brittle. Palladium is one of the three most popular alloying metals in white gold. Palladium gold is more expensive than nickel gold, but seldom causes allergic reactions. When platinum was declared a strategic government resource during World War II, many jewelry bands were made out of palladium. As recently as September 2001, Palladium was more expensive than platinum and rarely used in jewelry because of the technical difficulty of casting. Currently, the casting problem has been resolved and use in jewelry has increased because platinum has increased in price while palladium decreased. Prior to 2004, the principal use of palladium in jewelry was the manufacture of white gold. In early 2004, when gold and platinum prices rose steeply, China began fabricating volumes of palladium jewelry, consuming 37 tons in 2005. Changes in the relative price of platinum after 2008 lowered demand for palladium to 17.4 tons in 2009. In January 2010, Hallmarks for palladium were introduced by SA offices in the United Kingdom, and hallmarking became mandatory for all jewelry advertising pure or alloyed palladium. Articles can be marked as 500, 950, or 999 parts of palladium per thousand of the alloy. Fountain pen nibs made from gold are sometimes plated with palladium when a silver appearance is desired. Schaefer has used palladium plating for decades, either as an accent on otherwise gold nibs or covering the gold completely. In the platinotype printing process, photographers make fine art black and white prints using platinum or palladium salts. Often used with platinum, Palladium provides an alternative to silver. Palladium is a metal with low toxicity. It is poorly absorbed by the human body when digested. Plants such as the water hyacinth are killed by low levels of palladium salts, but most other plants tolerate it, although tests show that, at levels above 0.0003%, growth is affected. High doses of palladium could be poisonous, tests on rodents suggest it may be carcinogenic, though no clear evidence indicates the element harms humans. Like other platinum group metals, bulk PD is quite inert. Although contact dermatitis has been reported, data on the effects are limited. It has been shown that people with an allergic reaction to palladium also react to nickel making it advisable to avoid the use of dental alloys containing palladium on those so allergic. Some palladium is emitted with the exhaust gases of cars with catalytic converters. Between 4 and 108 ng-km of palladium particulate is released by such cars, while the total uptake from food is estimated to be less than 2 g per person a day. The second possible source of palladium is dental restoration, from which the uptake of palladium is estimated to be less than 15 g per person per day. People working with palladium or its compounds might have a considerably greater uptake. For soluble compounds such as palladium chloride, 99% is eliminated from the body within three days. The median lethal dose of soluble palladium compounds in mice is 200 mg-kg for oral and 5 mg-kg for intravenous administration.